श्रीमती राधिका इज कॉल्ड नीलाम्बरी नीला अम्बरी ऑलवेज यूजिंग नी गार्मेंट्स गार्मेंट्स लाइक द ब्यूटी ऑफ कृष्णा सो शी इज कॉल्ड नीलाम्बरी सो नीलाम्बरी देवी यू लाइक नीलाम्बरी देवी की ज्ञानंजन शलाकया चक्षुन मिलित जीन तस्म श्री गुरव नम वाकतु कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय थे कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने गौरत्षण कारण तो यशाई गर्भोदशाई च पयोधिशाई श्रेष्ठ निम शरण ममास्तु टुडे इज very auspicious day the birthday of shri nityananda prabhu only three days before the birthday of mahavishnu advaita acharya and today is the birthday of shri nityananda prabhu you know that nityananda prabhu without nityananda prabhu go cannot do anything he is helpless though he is abode of all powers sarva shakti man but yet he always depends on service of nityananda prabhu when the supreme personality of krishna wants to come in this world to sprinkle his mercy to all jeevas he comes with nityananda prabhu baldev prabhu in any way he will be there can you say when krishna in the shape of nishingh dev came how nityananda prabhu was with him his all weapons his everything was nityananda prabhu when ram came this baldev prabhu or nityananda prabhu came in the shape of lakshman when krishna came he came in the shape of baldev when chaitanya mahaprabhu came he came in the shape of this uh, oh nityananda nityananda when he sleeps in the karana sagar ocean of oz then he becomes a shesh on which he sleeps 
and he serves. Lakshmi also serves there. So when Krishna wants to come in any way, anywhere in these worlds or anywhere, Baldev Prabhu must come with him. When he was with Ram in Tretaju, Ram ordered so many things which was very, very painful, painful to him. When Dasrat Maharaj told that you should go to bed, the forest for 12 years and Bharat will be the king of Ajutthya. Ram gladly accepted this, but Lakshman was not in this opinion. He took his bow and arrows and told them, Ram, you should give me order. I will kill all, even this lusty Dasarath also. I think that he is not appropriate to be a father. You are my father and my elder brother. Hmm? So you should tell me, order me. I will fight against them and I will kill Maharaj Dasarath, Bharat and all other whole army. And he took his bow and stand up, stood up. But Ram told, no, no, don't do this. He was thinking, if he was not my elder brother, then I have done this, but I am bound to do like this, obey him. When he told, Ram told that Lakshman, take Sita. Forever I have left Sita, you should take with you, to you Sita and give up in very deep forest. He wanted to question Ram, <coughs> what fault is, has done Sita? Why you are doing so? Hmm? You are going to obey the orders of very nasty persons, lusty persons, like a washerman, and you are not believing on the words of Maharaj Dasarat, Vashishta, Aya, Pamandev, Agni Dev, Fire Goddess, and all the Rishis, like Narada and all. He wanted to question, what fault is had done Sita? But he cannot say. He must away him because he is elder brother. So he accepted this, but very fun, fanful act for him. And then he took Sita, not telling anything that I am taking you for, giving in the forest. Oh, we will return tomorrow after distributing cloths to Muni and Rishis, wives and ladies and their sisters. Oh, we will. But when he went, and crossed Ganges and went in the heart of Balmiki. Balmiki. He began to weep loudly. Sita told, Why were you weeping? He told that, I should die before telling this. My heart is made of stone or iron. So I am not dying. Hmm? Ram has left you forever. And you cannot return to Ajodhya as his wife. <coughs> then Sita at once fell flat and Lakshman in the same stage when she was senseless he returned, weeping. Hmm? So he is telling himself, 
Now I will come with Ram. I will come with Krishna, but not as a younger brother to obey. But I will order them, him. So I must come as a elder brother. Elder brother. I cannot bear this so painful days. So he, so he came as a elder brother in Krishna pastime. And sometimes he rebuked Krishna, chastised, oh you are doing wrong sometimes. But only to please Krishna. So again he came when Chaitanya Krishna came in the shape of Gaura Chandra, Sachinandan Gaurhari. He came before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. About I think uh, ten years or like he was elder than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He has never met with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sachin Nimai Pant, only in boyhood. Boyhood went for pilgrimage with a very renowned any saint. And he uh, went over whole India almost all holy pilgrimages. When he was in South India, Pandarpur, there is a place, name is Pandarpur, he met with a saint. His name was Lakshmi Pati Tirtha, disciple in the line of Madhvacharya. Both saw to each other and both became friend, Krishna, Krishna Tele, embracing each other. After that Nityananda Prabhu told that I want to take initiation from you. I have not taken initiation. You are my guru. What mantra will you will give to me? He tested and told that perhaps uh, this mantra you want to give me and that mantra was cling swaha gopal mantra no then he became so happy and told her, how you knew this <coughs> how you knew this then Baldev Nityananda Prabhu gave him darshan in the shape of Baldev Prabhu. And he fled, fled on the lotus feet of Nityananda Prabhu. He took initiation by that mantra and he became renowned sannyasi. And he then alone began to travel everywhere. When he came in Vrindavan, he was searching, Oh, Kanai, where you are, where you are? Kanai, you know? Kanai? Kanai Mani Krishna. Where you are? When he used to see deers running here and then, he began to run after deers. Can you tell where Krishna is? Kanai is my elder younger brother, when he used to see grazing cows, he used to take cows, this neck in his arms, sometimes naked, quite naked, weeping so much, sometimes running after cowherd boys, asking, where is Kanai? Without Kanai, why you came? 
I want to meet Kanai, Kanai. And began to bitterly weep and roll down on the earth. He went to a temple and he was calling Kanai, Kanai. A song came and told that, Oh, your Kanai is not here now. Now he is taken birth in the other state and now he is Sachinandan and he is in Navadip, Mayapur. If you want to meet, you can go there. So he now began to go to Navadip Dham. By the side of Yam Narivar he went to Prayag and from there he by the side of Ganges he came at last in Navadi. There in a very solitary place on the bank of Ganges, Nandana Charja. He was also a very good devotee. He went there. And he thought that I should not go to Nimai Pandit. He should come to me. If he is Kanai, Kanai I will believe when he will come himself to me and meet me. Otherwise, I will not go. If he is Kanai, then he knows everything, past, future and Bartman, present. present. Also, he is powerful, he is Sarvagya. Omniscient. All knowing. Omniscient. All knowing. So he must know, why should I go? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Srinivas, Srivas Acharya, his brothers and all others, so many devotees to such any Mahapurush. Mahapurush means? Great personality. Huh? Best personality, Great person. Very good, Vaishnava has come. Try to search him and bring to me. They searched the whole day here, there, in the bank of Ganges, in all devotees' houses, but they could not find. At last, in the evening, they returned. Oh, we had not seen any newcomer sadhu, sannyasi, or Vaishnava. Oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, Nimai Pandit told, Oh, yeah, I am going. And then he took all, Associate. like Gadadhar Pandit and all other devotees, Sivas Pandit and all others. And he straight went on the house of Nandana Acharya. And he entered his house and saw a very beautiful, long arms, golden, Color. like golden mountain, very beautiful weeping and telling, Krishna, Krishna, Kanai, Kanai. When Mahaprabhu saw, he at once become like dumb, and from there he was saying to him, and he was saying to him. For a couple of minutes, they were full silent. And after that, Nityananda Prabhu and Gauchandra, at once run to each other and embrace so tightly and began to weep. He is telling Kanai and he is telling Balai. Balai. Kanai and Balai both were weeping bitterly. No sense at all where I am, what I am doing. And this they fell flat on the earth. After some time, the devotees help them to come in senses. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the arm of Nityananda Prabhu and he brought in his house. After this, Jagai, Madai and all others, past times, Vyas Puja, after that, Sanyas Vida, after they went with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, to Jagannath, 
in the midway, how Ch Nityananda Prabhu broke his dunder. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left all when went to Jagannath Puri and enjoyed seeing, taking darshan of Jagannath. Oh, Prajanandan, you are not a statue, you are yourself, Jasodanandan, Prajanandan. Hmm? And he met, uh, he at once suddenly tried to reach and meet Jagannath Dev, but in the midst, how Bhattacharya, Sarvam Bhattacharya came and how he came and how he took senseless Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to his home and how he tried to teach him Vedanta and what became of that. Hmm? How he returned, he was in Puri Ratha Jatra and how he again came to, Ni to Navadvi and Bengal and wanted, used to preach our whole Bengal. And especially to those who were fallen, so much fallen, out of caste, very poor, and he began to preach. After that, how he married with Janama Devi and Basudha Devi. Birchandra Prabhu, the son of how he took association, um, initiation from Janava Devi. <coughs> so we will all hear in mind. I will what? pray to whom? To whom I will pray to speak something. Maharaj should you speak first it's about Nityananda Prabhu. He should come here. He should be given. I think that he should come here. He should be given. I think that there are so many. Huh? They are quarrelsome, lazy, misguided, above all, always disturbed, isn't it? Because from, so, to, to some degree. Uh, but when uh, uh, Adhibodhika and Adma, Adhyatmika and Adhidevika, even for us to chant the Harinam, isn't it? Then it goes out of the way and something, some. Uh, uh, so I want to talk about the Nichananda's appearance which he distributed love of God to everyone without any creed or race or qualification. He collected all the faults of, if they had the face, uh, at least uh, he was able to give himself and uh, begged that individual to chant the name of Gauranga. Uh, for those who are imbibed, he, who are saturated with divine love, the, uh, uh, they find satisfaction in the self they are, uh, uh, who can liberate them? So Nichananda Prabhu uh, was, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, who, is, uh, who uh, we are benefiting. The characteristics of, of, of Nichananda Prabhu, as uh, uh, I can just skip the Baladev, he is uh, the Sanhini Shakti, and uh, uh, the manifestation of, of sun in his suction is Guru Parapadma, the Vishuddha Sattva, which is pure goodness. Uh, uh, Swarup Shakti or Antaranga Shakti has three Amvit and uh, Ananda comes Ladini Shakti. These are important factors to know because it is fundamental to know uh, uh, them in Tattva. Of Ladini Shakti, all the uh, uh, personal manifestation of Shimadrajani evolves and from uh, there was a a huge Kirtan party, and uh, many Vaishnava was invited, and one of them was he was beating the head of uh, whoever uh, come close to near, near near him, who is benedicting them. Uh, so, and he was so exalted that when, one time when this Kirtan party was going on, uh, everybody stood up and and uh, honor he he, he developed some pride. And, and uh, disrespected this Minikitan Ramdas, 
And uh, after the Kirtan party, he asked Krishna, uh, asked Ruminicator, uh, Nitai Gauranga, uh, Nitai, why do you chant the name of Gauranga? Huh? Because uh, Gauranga. Nitai Gauranga. Nitai Gauranga. <laughs> And uh, uh, he was arguing that. Uh, so when uh, uh, Minikatana heard uh, this insulting verb, and when it happened, uh, Kaviraj uh, Goswami recognized that there happened an opera. So one can be rectified by, uh, if it does commit opera to, to, to Bhagavan. But uh, so if someone uh, foolishly uh, uh, try to offend or blatter, one should really be very careful when we are approaching any devotee. It makes no difference uh, whether he's an elevated Vaishnava or spiritual existence because one might a, a beginner seems, but after uh, um, taking up the, uh, uh, the spiritual practices when he shows come only two years ago and five days and I am two years and, and, and uh, 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 15 days more uh, uh, senior to him. You understand? Because in, in, in that platform, I'm going to study uh, superiority. Superiority means Paripat in a Parish Seva, how much service you do for your guru. Huh? And how much is much less than maybe. But that is not so because Anyone who is preaching this movement and say, uh, the, the sake of, of, uh, of, of spreading this, not just only one, not just only your Gurudev should be worshipped, but all Vaishnavas, whomever you see, huh, you should bow down and pay obeisances, huh? isn't it? And render service. If you see somebody that needs service, you should ask, uh, what do you need? How can I serve you? Because this is the culture of a Vaishnava, that all these uh, symptoms in, in Bengal, which I have seen, that uh, as soon as they got up, and they go out of their room. They sue they sue, uh, uh, within that, that body. So uh, Westerners, we are not so uh, uh, acquainted with this kind of... Baldev Prabhu. Baldev Prabhu in Krishna past time, he went to Namisharanya. He saw that Lom Harsan Sut was giving class of Srimad Bhagavatam. All the Rishis, Maharshis stood up and did pranam to Baldev Prabhu. But Lom Harshan was sitting on the same Vyasasana and he did not do pranam to him, not welcoming him. Balde Prabhu thought he is not qualified to read Srimad Bhagavatam and to preach Bhagavatam. He knows not a very lower kind of etiquette. He thinks that I am born in Gop Jati, so lower. And he thinks that I am born in Brahmin. And I am so literate and I am so learned. I can tell Bhagavat, explain Bhagavat. But he told that you are not qualified. Be Bhagavat and then read Bhagavat. So he took his hand and by his ha ha hands cut his neck. at once cut off his head and he was tired. All the Rishi were wondering and telling, Oh, Balde Prabhu, what you have done? Then he told that, What do you want? Want that I should make him, life. Make, him make him again life. give his life. Then they knew the glories of Baldev Prabhu. No, we don't want. But how we will hear Srimad Bhagavatam? He at once took 
the son of Lomharsan, Ugrasravanam, of age five years only. Hmm. Not uh, wearing clothes and like so. She was, he was like a very ignorant person he lo who was looking like. But he took and he made him sit on the Vyasasana and look towards him. And he inspired everything, all Vedas, all Srimad Bhagavatam, all Purans, Upanishad and everything, Smriti, Sruti, everything, Mahabharat, Ramayana and all these things. And he went at once, uh, told some istuti of Baldev Prabhu, and he began to explain all these things wonderfully. So, you should not see that Baldev Prabhu or Nityananda Prabhu has not joined the school. Hmm? And he was illiterate, but he is God of Gods. He is Gurudev. Hmm? He killed in Krishna past times Dhenukasu in the shape of an ash. Dhenukasu is ignorance. What ignorance? Those who don't honor Vaishnavas, devotees, hmm? and think them themselves devotee, himself. They are all like Dhenukasura. Hmm? If any Vaishnava coming in contact of association of, of any Vaishnava, he will be Vaishnava. And he will honor like Ch Nityananda Prabhu has honored all devotees. Even those who are not devotees but they wanted to be devotees, he respected them. He brought in the shade of Krishna consciousness to all those who were neglected, all neglected. In India, the goldsmith, you know, and oil makers, metal net makers, all there are in Sudra Jati. At first, they have no right to read Veda, Upanishad and Vedanta. They cannot read, even. But Nityananda Prabhu told that, like Jagai Madhai, they are most uh, qualified to chant Harinai and to have Krishna praying. And to whom he saw, he gave initiation like, tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, So all over in Bengal, all those were fallen, very unficious course of persons, Nityananda Prabhu, embraced them and inspired them all. Today we are doing some mistakes. We are dishonoring sincere and senior devotees. Whole life they have served Swamiji, they have served Radha Krishna and Gaur Nityananda Prabhu, whole life from beginning. Anyhow, without reason, they are be going to be neglected. I have also said so much more than anyone of his own. But I cannot go to take darshan anywhere to whom I gave my samadhi, samadhi of. Swamiji in, in Mat Bindavan.
Drawers are closed. This is a very bad sign. By this we will go to hell. There is some time yet. We should try to eh? correct all these things. We should know that we are whole in Mahaprabhu family. Those who have not taken even initiation but chanting Hare Krishna, they should be treated as the family of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And those who are senior, sincere and loving, serving for so many years, they should be more respected. Otherwise, Vaishnava no offense. And Nityananda Prabhu like, uh, what, Jaminda Ramchandra Khan, in his last pastimes, last days, went in Bengal in a place where very rich person, Ram Chandra Khan, who wanted to uh, make fall down Haridas Thakur, he went to the same village. That rich person did not honor any of the devotees of Nityananda Prabhu. And he told that, get out from here. You cannot host in night here. Nityananda Prabhu began to laugh so loudly. Oh! Devotees are not honored here. Hmm? Devotees are res disrespected here. Hmm? So, we should not be here. We are going, but I will see, I am seeing that tomorrow Mohammedans will come armed and they will cut all, they will slaughter, slaughter cows here, they will prepare mills of flesh and whole family will be cut down. And he left the place and the person not honoring Vaishnav devotees, next day they will slaughter it all and the whole village became barren. So we should always remember Nityananda Prabhu. Don't disrespect, disrespect any Vaishnav. This is the uh, what? teachings of Nityananda Prabhu. Hmm? Always try to honor Vaishnavas. In what a stage he is, according to Kanishta, Madhyam and Uttam Adhikari. We will have to know all these things. If you are not knowing, then we are not devotees at all. For so mortal we are. Hmm? Nowadays we are not going to be so, strong Vaishnav, in Vaishnav philosophy, and also doing according to all. We should try to establish us in all these teachings. Otherwise, only showing like bottle and telling to others, it will not do. Hmm? So, we should try to understand all the teachings of Nityananda Prabhu, come with me in Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was telling, Oh, I have again meeting, I am meeting with same Prajanandan. In separation mood, I am burning for so many years and years. I I brought my Prajandananda. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became in the mood of Radhika and calling Krishna, Krishna, Prajandananda. You are the same Prajandananda. And he began to be in the mood of Radhika and he fell flat, dancing. Nityananda Prabhu was there, but not touching. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in 
Shivashangan used to dance and when he used to fell flat in the courtyard, Nityananda Prabhu used to check him in his arms. But he are not, why not? Why not? He is thinking that now he is in the mood of Radhika and he is Radhika. So he must not touch him. Touch. Touch him. Hmm? When he began to come in senses, then he used to touch. Otherwise not. But nowadays we don't know all these things. And we do so many rasabhas. We keep Nityananda Prabhu with Radha and Krishna in the same altar. Jagannath in same altar. You should know all these things in more superior advancement, advanced devotees. With them you should. Read Chaitanya Chaitamrit in the association of Vaishnavas, Bhagavat. Ja Bhagavat Pada, Vaishnavasthana. And that is why Nityananda Prabhu ordered Jiva Goswami to go to Vrindavan and learn all the Shastra with Rupa and Sanatana. He inspired him and he became so learned that in whole world at that time Nit there was no any learned, learned person like Jiva Goswami. He refreshes so many learned persons. Hmm? How? Only by the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. So, we should try to follow outwardly and inwardly Nityananda Prabhu. You know the song, Nitai Pada Kamala. Oh, where she is? Where is Krishna? Nitai Pada Kamala. And then we will have see some voice drama perhaps yes, they have prepared. Yeah. The Nitai Pada Kamal, one one time. Hmm. After that we will see a play by the children. Can and then so play? many bhaktas are there, they will so speak.
the rest of the dance. On a nice full moon night in the fall, Krishna decorated himself with lovely flowers like the Malika, which smells so nice. The full moon rose in the east, colouring everything reddish. The air was cool and the trees were full of blossoming flowers. Then Krishna called the gopis by playing on his flute. So the gopis rushed over to find Krishna playing his flute. Their fathers and husbands told them not to go, but they went anyway. Some of the gopis were even locked up in their rooms, so they began to think about Krishna simply by closing their eyes. When all the gopis found him, Krishna teased them. The gopis had come to be with Krishna and to dance with him. They smiled. <laughs> the, go the gopis began to ask the trees and flowers. Dear Bunyan tree. and they fell to the ground crying. Bunny laying on the ground crying because Krishna had gone away from her. They helped her up and stopped her from crying. They walked through the forest until it got dark. They went to the Yamuna River and started to chant Krishna's names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. All of a sudden, Krishna appeared. Krishna stood there as beautiful as ever and while the gopis gathered around him he looked even more beautiful. The happiest and most beautiful girls of the three worlds. After the Rasa dance finished, just an hour or two before sunrise, Krishna said, They did not want to go home, but they obeyed him and were really very happy. Thank you. Oh, so much thanks to you for your flute.
my heartly blessings to you. Yeah. I think that in a very few minutes you have my heartly blessings to you to be a very bona fide devotee. Hmm? Gaurnita. Gaurnita. <laughs> Ah, she was Radhika. Radhika. <laughs> but he's they played a very good role. Yes, yes. Come on. Very good. Yeah. Mm. Yes, yes. Jai Nita. Jai. 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 My heartly blessings to you all. <laughs> Nityananda Prabhu should bestow his mercy. <clears throat> very. <laughs> you should be very quickly a very good devotee. No? <laughs> Prabhu, continue. <laughs> yes, it is. to continue in our practice of this path of bhakti. If it were not so, we are told by all of our acharyas in all so many songs that they have written, so many, because without Lord Nityananda's mercy, it is not actually possible to Nitai Padakamlam Koti Chandra Susitalam. And there is one line, Heno Nitai Vine Bhai. Without His mercy, O oh brothers, Radha Krishna Paite Nai, book which was written by Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj, in which he is telling uh, something to Bengal to preach by the order of, of Avadhut. He was not identifying with the external world. Or, please chant the name of Gaur. So, Goranga was everything to Nitai. Nitai dedicated his all a Mahabhagwat Rasik Vaishnav with Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is explaining this shlok. All the conversations which are there between Rai Ram highest Siddhanta. So we must always remember that Nityananda Prabhu uh, prayer is being given to Nitai that when will the day come? Arakabeni come. When it will come, Sangshara Vasana. Then I will give this up by the mercy of this desire. And then by giving this desire up by the mercy of Nitai, I will be able to behold Sri Vrindavan. I will be able to enter in Mabhujabo Se Jugala Pariti. When will we understand Krishna? When will we be able to understand? Bhujhabose, to understand this. So all is based uh, Hopefully, actually, we'll be getting some of the first copies this evening and the, some more of them tomorrow. It's a very rushed job coming in the future, which will compile a lot of the lectures which he gave, not only on this tour, but also in America and Europe on previous tours. Ki jai, Shri Nityananda Prabhu, ki jai, Gaur Premanandi. Own. 
for his dramatic performance in acting the pastimes of Lakshman, giving suggestion to his divine personality. And when he acted out those pastimes, all the people in the town were confused in that they didn't know whether he was really experiencing those pastimes or whether he was just acting those pastimes. He said, okay, we, we, he, he doesn't get, we won't enforce with him. Then Nittai gave them both the service to clean the ghat that some of us will visit soon. Jagai and Madai Ghat in Navadip. So his incarnation is only full of mercy and by Krishna's grace and through his representatives we can be the, the uh, recipients of that mercy. And I'll stop there because again I feel awkward talking in front of all the Vaishnavas, especially in front of Maharaj. I'll stop talking except to thank him once again very much and pray for his mercy that he helps me in my service to my divine master, Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And thank you all very much. One of the prayers of Narottam Thakur Nityanandashtakam Jathashtam Re Bhrata Kuru Hari Dhvan Manisham Tato Vasan Saram Bodhi Taranadayu Mailave Idam Bahu Spotai Ratatrati Anja Pratigriham Bhaje Nityanandam Bhajanatarukandam Nirapadhi He is telling praying to Nityananda Prabhu. Oh, Nityananda Prabhu is so merciful that all the mercies of Krishna or Mahaprabhu gathered together and Nityananda Prabhu became. He is telling to all persons without any cost and creed rich or poor, so inferior or superior. Hmm? Brahmins or Shudra, scheduled caste. Schedule caste, anyone, male or female, boys or old, hmm? even to animals also, birds, he is telling. How he is telling? Come on, come on. And he is raising his hands and telling like this. Yathishtam re bhrata kuru hari hari dhvana manisham. Oh brothers, always tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Loudly and more loudly. Hmm? Again and again, hmm? and you will be crossing the misery, the ocean of death and birth, birth and death, sufferings and sorrows. And if it is not going so, then I am liable for this. Hmm? I am telling you truth that you should one chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 each person's door he used to go. And personally he used to tell, hmm, I want this only, begging, give us the. I don't want anything. But we are now deficiating from this line of Nityananda Prabhu. Hmm. 
If you want Krishna Prem, you will have to come in this line again. Hmm? So Nityananda Prabhu is saying, I am responsible for this if you are not getting Krishna, uh, Krishna Prem. Hmm? So each person sees it. And in the last he is telling, Rasanam Adharam Rasika Barasada Vaishnava Dhanam Paramitananda Rasanam Adharam Rasika Barasada Vaishnava Dhanam Rasa Patita Tarana Smarnata Paramanityananda Ashtakam Jo Patija Tadanghidvan Dabje Nitara. He is telling. Oh, you don't say that Nityananda Prabhu is only a mad person. He has not joined the school. Hmm? He should know that he is Arasanam Adharam. He is what? Adhar? Container. Desh. Platform of all Rasas. Dasya as Baldev, Shak as Baldev, Basal as Baldev. And Madhuras in the shape of Ananga Manjari, the younger sister of Srimati Radhika, he became to test this, to become the platform of this Madhuras also. So don't think that uh, Nityananda Prabhu only in male form serving Krishna, in four only rasas, also in Madhuras. So Rasanama Dharam, Rasika Bara, he, he was so Rasik. He used to quarrel with Advaita Charya, you know, so many times, with like a struggling, sometimes giving Mahaprasadam here and there. Advaita Charya told her, what you are doing? You are no, no Vedic culture in you. Hmm? You are always impure. Anyone does not know who is your father and mother and where is your abode? <coughs> and you have come among us to take prasadam here? Hmm? You have so much dare. You are avadhut. You have taken our cost, cost Brahmins, this. Nityananda Prabhu at once began to laugh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> And told them, oh, Adaita Chad, I have heard that he was his sole learned person, and that I know that he is not a learned person. Hmm? He doesn't know anything. He is telling that uh, by taking Mahaprasad, anyone loses his Brahman mode and he becomes uh, low. low. He is doing offense in the lotus feet of Mahaprasadam. <laughs> He does not know the real power of Mahaprasadam. Mahaprasadam is himself Krishna. Mahaprasade Govinde Nama Brahmani Vaishya Salpa Pannavatang Rajana Vishwasa Naiva Jayate. Hmm? So they were calling. Sometimes they were calling in, in the big pond. Indra Dimna Sarovar, giving water there. In Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so great. You know, Raya Ramananda is Sarvam Bhattacharya. So learned person and so great. great. But they began also to quarrel like boys, giving water on each other. Hmm? Also Nityananda Prabhu and uh, this Adaitacharya began to gave water to each other. And Nityananda Prabhu defeated Advaita Church. He told that, I am an old person, you want to... Hmm? Drown me. Drown me. No, no, no. Splash. That I should die, make me die. Hmm? So they were, in these quarrels, so many good Siddhanta were there, full of. So Nityananda Prabhu, Rasanam Adharam, Rasika Bara Saida Vaishnavadhana. He was Rasikvar. Hmm? Who is Rasikvar? Giraj Govardhan. 
but he is the root of all rasiks. Without his mercy, anyone cannot be a rasik. So those who will pray Nityananda Prabhu for his mercy, they will be bona fide Vaishnava. But, but always remind this, remember, don't criticize any one Vaishnava. Don't dishonor, otherwise Nityananda Prabhu will be unhappy and he, <coughs> and he will let give Krishna Prem and they will be heart prem, aparabhi, offended, offended, offender. So try to all, all who has taken shelter of Nityananda Prabhu Chandra, treat him like Vaishnavas. But anyhow, any was not, anyone is not following, we should pray Mani Nityananda Prabhu that bestow your mercy that he should be reformed again. Don't criticize, don't do anything against them. So always have faith on Nityananda Prabhu. Especially I am praying for you all and for my also. For whole world I am praying that Nityananda Prabhu should bestow his mercy to all that we should know who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and what is Krishna name Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare and Hare Hare. He should give us a ruchi in Krishna name, in Gaur name. Also, anyone has told in his prayer that Krishna and Krishna Dham and Krishna name, they have some vichar for this, aparad. They, they consider whether he is nama aparadi or not, dhama aparadi or not. But Gaur Nityananda nahi e sab vichar, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Nityananda Prabhu has nothing to do with this thing. No. Even aparadi, they tell, oh Gaur Nityananda Prabhu, then they bestow their mercies. So we, we should also be, to be like that. If any do is anything nonsense, we should tolerate and pray for him also. Don't have any envy to them. Nothing. So be like Nityananda Prabhu. Follow his footprints and then Nityananda Prabhu will unconditionally he will um, bestow his mercy. Gaur Nityananda Prabhu ki. Jai. Prabhu Nityananda Prabhu ki. Jai. Gaur Pramanande. Krishna Das. Mahamantra. Kayal Nitai Chaitanya Bole. Ita Kote Parve. Dayal Nitai Chaitanya Bole Nachre Yamar Mon Dayal Nitai Chaitanya Bole Nachre Nachre Amar Mon Dayal Nitai Chaitanya Bole Nachre Amar Mon Nachre Amar Mon Nachre Amar Mon Nachre Amar
অপরাধেমনি কৃষ্ণ নামে রুচি হবে ঘুচিবে বন্ধন তখন কৃষ্ণ নামে রুচি হবে আমার মন দয়ালিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচরে আমার মন নাচরে আমার মন নাচরে আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচরে আমার মন কৃষ্ণ নামে অনু রাগে তো হবে হে কৃষ্ণ নামে অনু রাগ তো হবে তখন অনায়াসে সফল হবে জীবের জীবন তখন অনায়াসে সফল হবে জীবের জীবন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার মন কৃষ্ণ রতি বিনা জীবন্ত মিছে হে কৃষ্ণের অতি বিনা জীবন্ত মিছে আর কৃষ্ণার অতি বিনা জীবন্ত মিছে হে কৃষ্ণার অতি বিনা জীবন্ত শেষ বৃন্দাবনে রাধে শ্যামে পাবে দরশন শেষ বৃন্দাবনে রাধা শ্যামে পাবে দরশন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার নাচ রে আমার মন নাচ রে আমার মন নাচ রে আমার মন নাচ রে আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য বলে নাচ রে আমার মন দয়াল নিতাই চৈতন্য আমার মন নাচ রে আমার মন নাচ রে আমার মন হরে কৃষ্ণ হরে কৃষ্ণ 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 হরে 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 রাম হরে রাম 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 হরে 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 কৃষ্ণ